Yo, my skin, I got I just wanted to make this video for our Seneca language learners just to kind of show the, some of the stuff that I have um, in no particular order. Um, this is the Seneca language. This was, I downloaded this. This is a PDF. It's available on the Anundawak uh, Gaweno uh, learners on Facebook. Um, David. Shango posted this. You can download it. You can print it if you want. Um, there's all kinds of good stuff in here for beginners. The topics have a lot of good intros and it covers a lot of the basics. Um, it's a good one. I really like this one. This one has the stress marks over some of the words so you know where to stress them. Uh, that's if you don't have audio. Here is the older one that they used to have. I think it's from 87 or 88, the topic reference guide. This one used to have tapes, cassette tapes that went with it. <clears throat> and this one has a good intro too. It also has audio that, that accompanies it. Uh, like I said, the tapes, there's tapes that go with it, but when I took a trip to Six Nations and the students we met, when they brought it back down to me, they got those, those tapes have been converted to CD. So they ripped them on the CDs, brought me the CDs. This is a book that I got my last trip in 2011. My uncle, he lives in Gowanda. His kids go to the school there and take the language school. So um, they had about three or four of these in their house. <clears throat> and so he gave me one of these. This is from Phyllis. This is one of Phyllis's earlier books. And this one has covers a lot of stuff. All, all of these books that I have, they all, they do have a lot of similarities, but they all do offer something new. They all have a lot of different, um, some differences. There's words in, in each one that you can find that aren't in the other ones. Um, and then some of them you can see differences in, you know, what the translations are. Uh, this one has some literal translations and it has a really nice, um, a nice write-up by Phyllis about the evolution of Seneca language. Um, I really like that. She talked about the history. <clears throat> this is the one I just ordered from the Seneca Museum. Um, it's in the Word by Phyllis Bordeaux. This is a really good book. It has a lot of literal translations, a lot of cultural references. Um, not allowed to duplicate or show this in any way so all I can really do is show you the book it's ninety dollars it's well worth it um, but definitely you can order that I call them on the phone uh, you can order online and I think it's worth it I have uh, I have a book around here somewhere one of Wallace Chafe he's um, the handbook Seneca language handbook and he breaks things down. That's from 1963. So he's been working with the language for a long time. And I don't know how early that was in his uh, working, but he had a lot of stuff broken down. Um, I have different things on my computer. My uncle sent me the revised Seneca language expression list, which there's a lot of different things. It's, it's a short piece. But it has a lot of different words. Uh, again, this one has words that I don't have in some of these books. And so to it's hard to nail down the Seneca language and say that you have everything because you don't. It's just, it's a huge language. It's, uh, it covers a lot of things. So I have that on my computer. I have audio files on my computer. The audio files that go with this orange book, I think, some of these files might either go with this book or this the first one that I showed you. Um, I have audio on my iPod because I just ripped the CDs to my computer and then converted them. So this song go, are you wet? This song go. Do you have messy pants? So that's Sandy Dowdy. Um, there's some tracks that I got. And I listen to those in my car. I listen to those in the mornings. I, on my iPod.
iPod, I have an app called Flashcards. And if you whether you have a Droid or a or iTouch or even if you have a iPad, you can go and like here's one I put for uh, animals. So here we go. Porcupine, a hot dot. I know you touch it, touch it, flips over. There's the answer. Are uh, you done? Wipe it away. Um, there's the one for rat. Coon, sheep, weasel, dog. They're all, I just tap them on. There's a Gia is on the other side. I put Shunka because uh, my girls learn Dakota language as well. So some of them I'll have. If I know the Seneca and the Dakota word, I'll put it on there. Cat would be Dagoji or Igmu in Dakota. I don't know what's up with my screen. So I have horse with the literal translation. Uh, it pulls logs or a big dog because I also have the Dakota word. You don't have, you can just put Seneca, of course. Um, but there is a flashcard app and you can get that on Droid or Apple. Um, Any one that you like that works for you, this one seems all right for me. <clears throat> um, none of these, all these books and resources and everything, they don't really mean anything if I don't use them. If I don't put them to use every day, if I don't tie in the audio with what I see on paper, um, then not, I'm not learning anything. These are just these are just tools. They're not they're not going to make me fluent, uh, but they can help me learn, and they have helped me learn. The audio has really helped me learn because I listen to it a lot more, and so when I hear words, now I can um, I understand what they mean or I know what they mean. And for some of them, sometimes during the day, the course of the day, words that I've heard will pop into my head. Uh, other things I do to offset, I have some storybooks here. The cover is kind of old. The Tales of the Iroquois by Ray Fadden. Um, this one has a lot of cool little stories, has a lot of little symbols in here. It's real easy to follow. <clears throat> it has symbols and just short passages. Some stories read like a normal story. But a lot of them have these little these little pictures on the sides. And so what I do is I try to pick little words here and there and I translate them into Seneca. Whether it's a phrase or whether it's an animal or something, I'll, tr I'll translate it. I'll translate it in, into Seneca and I'll use that word in there so that my girls start to get, get the hint of what I'm talking about in the Seneca language. <clears throat> so, and then I also have this book, The Scunny Wundy, uh, from Arthur Parker. And this one has a lot of stories in it too. Um, and also I, I do the same thing. Um, even in this one here, you can see I have I have a flash card, or not a flash card, I have a paper. And that's not the one I'm looking for, but usually I leave flash cards in here um, because I don't always remember the words. So like for the story of the mosquitoes, I'll have something for uh, mosquitoes, arrows, uh, warriors, canoes, <clears throat> things that pop up in the story. Um, same thing with this one here. And I try to offset all the TV and stuff that the movies that they watch because they watch a lot of Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and their toys and every time I see them that's all they want to talk about is what they saw on a TV show but I want them to know their stories at least as good as they know whatever they're learning on TV because I want them to know who they are where they come from um, how, uh, how we understand things as so I also give them their stories um, if I can't see them all the time because I only see them every other weekend, but when I do see them, we're always on the road. So I also, I record myself. I'll read a story out loud and I record myself on this. And then when we get on the road, I'll play it for them and they'll listen to it and they'll understand it. So those are some of the things you can do. Uh, listen to the language. I have my dry erase boards here, which they help, but Again, um, these foam boards, foam boards you can buy at the arts and crafts store. You can put stuff on these, they're pretty cheap. 
Um, you can make your own index cards if you don't have a, a one of these kind of devices or whatever. You can you can use index cards and make those. Some of the things I used to do is I would put an index card of a few words <clears throat> on my front door, and every day I would see those words before I left the front door and kind of learn them and learn them and learn them and you know. Also, I would carry an index card with me with about. Last year I was doing that. I was carrying an index card with about four words on it. And throughout the day, if I wasn't doing anything, if I had some downtime, I'd just take that index card and keep testing myself and testing myself. And I actually learned um, a lot of words that way, but they were real random words. I didn't, I didn't know how to use them. I just knew what it was. So, um, but it does help you learn words if you practice. So that's some of the things I have. Um, how did I get all this stuff? Or how can you get all this stuff? I, I came across this because I, I visited people. You know, you have to let people know who you are. You have to let them see your face. You have to let them know that you're serious about doing this. <clears throat> Nobody just gave me this um, out of the blue. I went out and I, I shook hands and I visited people and I told them what I'm doing with my girls. I told them where I'm from. And I've been lucky. I mean, this, this big book here, I had to go out and buy it, but at least it came to me. Um, a lot of the emails and stuff came from relatives, people that I've gotten to know, the audio files from people that I've gotten to know, um, relatives, again, people this is from Six Nations, the people we met. So you got to get out there. You got to make those contacts, let people know that you're serious about learning this. And, and then whatever's going to come to you is going to come to you, whatever people are comfortable sharing. Uh, people were comfortable enough to share this with me and see that I'm serious about learning and I, I feel like I would betray them if I just started handing this out to everybody so um, we all you know, got to find your own ways to get it and I'll try to post resources and stuff out of these and we can still keep trying to do our best to learn our language keep our language alive and um, let's keep helping each other Thank you, uh, Nyawe, Daniel.